Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and Apple just released the macOS Sonoma 14.4 update. This is also known as the spring release because it includes the most features, changes, and fixes before we see macOS 15 announced at WWDC. So we're gonna cover all that. Plus we've got a really important notice for unsupported Macs using Open Core Legacy Patcher. Before you update to 14.4, we gotta cover some really critical things. So you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for this one. Let's jump in and get started. This was definitely an interesting update week for Apple because they released the iPad and iOS updates on Tuesday to be able to comply with the European Union App Store changes. So we got 17.4, 16.7.6, and 15.8.2 with all those changes. And the other updates were held back until today, Thursday, March 7th. Now, a lot of people were thinking it was going to drop on Friday tomorrow because of the new MacBook Airs are going to be launched or maybe even Monday. But here we are Thursday and we got a surprise drop. The other updates for MacBook OS are Ventura 13.6.5 and Monterey 12.7.4. Safari 17.4 is included in 14.4 and is available as a separate download for macOS Ventura and macOS Monterey. Xcode was also updated on Tuesday to 15.3 along with Xcode command line tools 15.3. On the other Apple releases side, we talked about the iOS and iPad OSs that released on Tuesday. We got Vision OS 1.1, HomePod OS 17.4, TV OS 17. 10.4 and watch OS 10.4. Our demonstration Mac for this update is a MacBook Pro 13 inch M1 2020. This machine is set up with File Vault and a test Apple ID logged in. So we try to set it up to be exactly like a normal user computer would be set up. So to be able to install the update, we should see our one here by our system settings. We can open it up and we can click on software update and we should see the update right here. To get more information about it, you can click on more info and you can see all the changes and fixes along with the size. The size for this update, updating from 14.3.1 is the smallest update we should see here for Apple Silicon Max, which is 3.55 gigabytes. This is one of the largest updates for macOS Sonoma that we will see because they will start to shift to maintenance releases from this update forward because all the development work is most likely being shifted to macOS 15. If you have an unsupported Mac with Open Core Legacy Patcher, you should see around 13 gigabytes and that's normal. So to update, all we need to do is click update now. We'll click agree and we'll type in our password. So it's gonna to start to download the update. And what we're going to do is we're gonna keep track on how long it takes to prepare and install the update. And we'll be right back after that begins. Okay, we're back up after the 14.4 update and let's take a look at the build version. The build version is 23E214. If you are running a previous beta release, you will have to update to this version, but if you are running the RC or the release candidate, it is the same version and you do not have to install the update again. Now let's take a look at how long it took to install and prepare the 14.4 update. We can see the size difference here with the larger update, but the preparing took 11 minutes and you can see the difference here between some of the smaller point security updates and compared to even the 14.3 update almost double the time to prepare the update but when it came time to reboot and install the update and this is the second largest time to install at 16 minutes all the way back to the first update which is 14.1 that took 21 minutes to install now let's take a look at the apple silicon firmware and t2 bridge os intel bridge os updates for apple silicon we did get a firmware update to 101 51 101 that three and for the Intel Bridge OS, we've got an update to 2116 0.0. Now to be able to look and find out where you can check these versions, all you need to do is go to Apple about this Mac and then click on system information and the immediate hardware overview window will pop up. And this is where you'll be able to find your system firmware version, OS loader version or Bridge OS T2 update version. Apple also released a full installer so you can reinstall macOS Sonoma or create a USB flash drive for 14.4. And if you have an Apple Silicon Mac, they also released a IPSW restore file for Apple Configurator 2 of 14.4. All right, now let's look at what's actually new in the 14.4 updates. We're at the what's new in the macOS Sonoma update page, and we can see here the first thing on the list is emoji. Now, if you're an emoji fan, this is great, but for most people, I 
Man, I don't know, but hey, let's go over it anyway. If you want to be able to get to the new emoji, you can open up a anywhere where you can type in text and a hotkey to be able to open up the emoji screen is control command space. And then you'll see the new emoji screen. So let's take a look at this new mushroom here and you can see there's the new mushroom comparison. So we'll close this. We can look at the new Phoenix lime. You get the idea. There's also 18 people and body emoji support facing the opposite direction. So let's take a closer look at that. So you can see the body direction walking in the different direction and in the previous OS release, you only have it walking in the left direction like this. And the same goes with running. Going the other way. Now let's look at some of the other enhancements and improvements. First with podcasts. Podcast episode text can be read in full. Search for a word or phrase. Click to play from a specific point and use with accessibility features such as text size, increased contrast, and voiceover. So if we open up the podcast app, we'll see right away that we have a new splash screen talking about the transcripts. View the full transcript and search for a word or phrase inside the episode. We can click on continue and we can click on one of these that we might like here. Let's click on true crime. And then let's see if we can download this episode and then search for those inside there. So I always like to show the differences between the two. This is the 14.3.1 version of podcast. We can click on this three dots to get the information about that podcast episode. And we can see right away that we're missing the view transcript option to be able to get to those new features. So if we go over to the new features, we can click on view transcript. And from in here, we can read the entire transcript of the podcast episode. Now we can go through and actually find keywords or whatever you would like to look for. So we can type in like, for example, memory. And there we go. So those are some nice updates to podcasts. There's also an update for messages for business. Now, if you're not sure messages for businesses, you can see the information on the Apple page that shows you all about that. So it's Apple it's a service that allows your organization to directly message with your customers using the messages app. And some of the changes are now you can get the updates that you've opted into like order status, flight notifications, fraud alerts, or other transactions from trusted businesses. There's also a change to Safari, the favorites bar, now adds an option to be able to show only the icons for website. If we right click on that menu, now we can show the icons only and you can have a bunch of websites up here and just be able to click by the icon. So that's a really nice feature. The other thing I wanted to cover was the new MacBook Air M3 and the new ability to be able to support two screens, but with an asterisk with the lid closed. So previous M1 laptops, you could only connect one screen and that's it with your main laptop. But now with M3, you can actually have two screens open, two monitors, as long as you have the main laptop screen closed. And that same day, 9to5Mac put out an article talking about that same support will be brought to the MacBook Pro with the base M3 processor through a software update. So a lot of people were interested in that and we have yet to know if that is in the 14.4 update or not. So we will see soon once some more reports come back out. But I thought that it was really an interesting piece to be able to cover the security content of the 14.4 update. This is one of the largest single updates for macOS Sonoma with the most security updates. We have over 56 individual macOS Sonoma related security fixes along with six individual WebKit fixes for Safari all the way here at the bottom. So this is a really big security based update and we always are checking for this line here. This is what we're looking for. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited in the wild for a kernel based vulnerability. That's usually a high priority update that we want to be able to install. So that covers security for 14.4. Now let's take a look at the Geekbench 6 benchmark scores. When I run these benchmarks, I make sure we're plugged into power, 100% battery. The spotlight indexing has finished and the system does not have any, any open applications to get a good accurate score. So on 14.3.1, we had a 2401 on a single and an 8742 on a multi. And on 14.4, we had a 2394 single and an 8782 multi, so right on target. 
Okay, now we gotta cover Open Core Legacy Patcher for unsupported Macs with the new version 1.4.0 and 14.4. There is a lot of changes in the back end in 14.4, and the developers have been working hard all this time to fix some of these issues. Unfortunately, some issues still remain. We need to be able to hold on to be able to install the update before you read over these important notes for 14.4 and 1.4.0. Now I'm going to create a whole update video to go over this because it's just way too much to cover in this Sonoma update video. But that's why I need to make sure that I warn you before installing, just hold off. Don't install anything just yet for the 14.4 update. If you want to install OpenCore Legacy Patcher 1.4.0, that's totally fine because it contains fixes in there that will help you. Don't install the 14.4 update until we go over some of the things or you definitely read through these patch notes, especially do not update if you have a non-metal Mac. So if you have a 2011 non-metal compatible GPU Mac, do not install the 14.4 update. So again, I will cover this more in my update video coming up tonight and you can click on that in the upper hand corner link or in the description. And I'll cover all that. I'm also utilizing my caching server. This has been working very well. A lot of you have reached out about how to set that up and I'm still planning on that video coming up really soon. Now let's talk about whether you should install the macOS Sonoma 14.4 update. If you have a supported Mac for macOS Sonoma, then I do recommend it because of all the backend fixes and especially one of the largest security update deployments that I've seen for macOS Sonoma since the very beginning, especially with vulnerabilities that have already been exploited in the wild. If you have an unsupported Mac, that's a totally different story. We just talked about that on the update part of the video for Open Core Legacy Patcher. If you have one of those machines, don't update to 14.4 at all until you've fully read through the Open Core Legacy Patcher release notes to make sure that you are understanding of all these pieces. And again, I will go over that in my Open Core Legacy Patcher update video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions on this update for Sonoma or Open Core Legacy Patcher in the comments. I appreciate it and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.